Hi, my name is Dr. Ann Reagan. I'm back here at the Prince Frederick campus of the College of Southern Maryland. Today we're going to go over a brief experiment to show two things. One, how much energy is lost when an object hits the floor and bounces back? And two, is energy conserved? What we're going to do is we're going to take an ordinary golf ball and bounce it on a hard surface. You can use a floor, a desktop, a table, the garage floor. Any of those surfaces will do well. When you drop the ball, first of all, it has an initial energy, potential energy, MGH. As it falls, that energy is turned into kinetic energy so that it reaches a maximum speed just before it hits the ground. When it hits the ground, it will rebound, but it will never bounce as high as it began. So something happens to the energy. It has energy MGH here, kinetic energy, one half mv squared here. Some amount of energy is lost as thermal energy into the tabletop, and it will bounce again to a second height, MGH2, always less than the first height. First thing we have to do is see how much energy is lost at this point. The way we're going to do this is drop a ball onto our hard surface and let it bounce three times. Once it has bounced three times, I will record that using the Audacity software. And you can see here that I've got three bounces recorded. And it makes a very clean mark at each point where there was a distinct bounce. You can see the time of the first bounce, second bounce, and third bounce. We're going to use that to get an exact measurement of the time between the first two bounces and the time between the second two bounces. What is happening is this. When the ball bounces, each time we're measuring the time between the first two bounces and the time between the second two bounces. We will use this equation of motion since the ball is following, falling under the influence of gravity to determine the speed of the ball at this point, we'll call that point A, and the speed of the, point, of the ball at this point when it leaves the ground, point B. Since it starts and ends on the ground, these terms are zero, and the speed must equal the acceleration due to gravity, times squared, I can t uh, take a time out from the equation, cancel the minus sign, and I get the velocity at point A or B is equal to 1 half times 9.8 meters per second squared times the time between the bounce. Velocity VA is going to equal 1 half times 9.81 times delta T1, and the velocity here, V0 at point B, is going to equal 1 half times 9.81 times delta T2. We can then see how much energy was lost when it hit the ground. Because when it hit, before it hits the ground, it should have energy 1 half mVA squared. Afterwards, it will have kinetic energy 1 half mVB squared. Now the question is, the first question this experiment will answer is what is the nature of this change in energy? Is a certain amount of energy lost each time? If that's the case, then if I bounce this ball and take 10 data points, then each time the energy at point A minus the energy at point B should be a constant value. Or is it that a certain percentage of the energy is lost each time? If that's the case, then if I do this experiment 10 times, each time this divided by this should equal a constant. If that's the case, that 1 half mVA squared over 1 half mVB squared, if that's a constant, these cancel out, and we get that the ratio of the velocity squared is a constant. 